Hello and welcome to uh, this lesson on Unity 3D with C Sharp and this is lesson 10, the GUI. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is instead of working with our console window as output to check our C Sharp script, we're going to be working with the game window output to see our C Sharp script. And you might ask, of course, why do you want to do that? If we can work with this one here, our game window, we can use the graphical user interface called a GUI. It's abbreviated for a GUI. And we can do some really cool things with C Sharp in our game. So to start this out, I'm going to come over here where it says 2 by 3 and I'm going to change that to wide. Now when I do that, my scene window is a lot larger. And that's what I'm looking for. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to come down here and let me just move this up a bit. I can drag this up a bit. I'm going to make a new script, a new C Sharp script. I'm going to come here, create, and I'm going to go C, C Sharp script. I'm going to call this my GUI, G U I. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to double click, double left click to open it. And when I open it, I have my, there's my, my program name, my GUI. I have my two functions, void start, and I have my other function, void update. I don't need these functions for what I'm going to do. And I'm going to highlight them and remove them. I'm going to put in a new function that's a reserve function for um, Unity. And it's void, which means it doesn't return anything. And it's capital O-N, and then it's capital G. UI, it, lowercase n, of course, and then the uh, parentheses and a left squiggly thing. And I'm going to come over here and put a right squiggly thing. This function here that I put, this is going to, to now display my graphical user interface. It's also sampled once per frame, just like uh, the, the, other, the other one that I had was sampled one, once per frame. I'm going to go ahead and save this and close it. And just to make sure that everything works, and don't forget I have to attach this to an object in the hierarchy, which is going to be my camera. Now if I click on my camera and I come down here, I can see there it is, my GUI script. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just play it, see if I get any errors, and I don't get any, I don't get any errors, okay? So, so far so good. But I want it to, to do something. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to open it again. And what I'm going to type in here is I'm going to create a GUI label. A GUI label does nothing but display something like text, um, like text or uh, or numeric numerical values on the uh, on the game screen. Okay, there it is, GUI label, and I must put in new, lowercase. And what I'm really going to display is a rectangle, R E C T. And the upper left where it's going to start is going to be, at x is going to be equal to 10. And then y is going to be equal to 10. And then the width of it, I'm going to make the width 200. And I'm going to make the height 80. Okay. And then I'm going to close that. And I'm going to put a comma in here. And now I'm going to put what I want to appear. And I'll put, hello, unity. Uh, 3D. How's that? Hello Unity 3D and put a period and end the quotation marks and the parentheses and put don't forget the semicolon. So GUI.label is a reserve uh, term for Unity 3D. It means I'm just going to display something. This means I'm going to display it in a rectangle rectangular area. This is the X and Y coordinates of where it starts, 10 and a 10. And this is how wide it is, and this is how high it is. So let's see what I get. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this here. And I'm going to run it. Here we go. And there it is. It says, hello, Unity 3D. Now, the deal with this, this is sort of hard to see. I'd like to have it so that the font is larger. I'd like to have it so that maybe I can change the font color, and so on. So I could do that with code. But there is an easier way of doing it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right down here to the project panel, 
right click and go to create and come all the way down to where it says gooey skin and I left click on that and I'm going to rename it I'm going to call it uh, my um, gooey skin okay and if I look on the inspector panel what I see over here for my gooey skin I see all kinds of stuff I see the font that's Arial that's cool I see box button toggle label that's what I'm trying to get text field text there all the different things I can get on my GUI what I'm interested in is affecting the label because that's what I made so there's the name so on and so forth and what I want to do is I want to come down here all of this has to do with the label all of this is just a label that now is the next one which is the text field so all the stuff in here is about the label what I want to do is I want to make my font size right down here I'd like to make that a 55 I want the font to be pretty large okay the stretch width I'm going to take that off the font style just to be sort of cool I'm going to make it italic I don't want word wrap so I take off word wrap I don't want it to clip so I take off that I'm going to put overflow that it can do the overflow and I think fingers crossed I think I've done everything here now let's try something and see what happens okay I'm just going to go ahead and run it and when I go ahead and run it I don't get any errors but I still get the same thing I see that the font has not increased in size and it, it's not italic uh, there's no cool stuff happening and the reason for that is because I haven't attached my GUI skin to my script my GUI and do I just drag it in there no no I don't do that do it that way watch I have to open this and what I'm going to do now is I've got to make a public declaration uh, and what I'm going to make public is my GUI skin G U I S K I N and that's a reserved term for unity 3d is GUI skin and I can call it whatever I want I'm going to give it an identifier I'll call it my style okay like that and then what I'm going to do is I have to tell the on GUI function what I want to use and what I want to use here is I want to use for my GUI skin G U I dot uh, S K I N lowercase and that's a reserved term this right here is a reserved term for unity 3d I want it to be uh, this my style Okay, and I put a semicolon there. Okay, so I had to declare this as public up here. And then I had to tell it inside the on GUI function that the reserve term GUI.skin is going to be my style. All right, so now let's go ahead and save this. And let's do this here. And let's try it again. And we will see that it's the same thing. You say, wait a minute, this isn't working. Well, bear with me. I'm going to come over here and click on main camera when I come and click on main camera I come down here and there's my GUI uh, script <clears throat> if I notice <clears throat> the my style which is uh, a, a global variable that's public doesn't have a GUI skin attached to it this is my script so what I have to do I have to take my GUI skin and drag it over here to my style now this is associated the GUI skin meaning this guy here is now associated with the uh, the program uh, my um, my GUI script so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens now and it says hello unity 3d now now I'm in business now let me show you something that's pretty cool about this why we went through all this trouble uh, I'm going to double click on my uh, my GUI and I'm going to come here and I'm going to make another a public global variable and it's going to be a type string remember we talked about different data data types I'm going to make it my string and I'm going to make it to uh, equal to uh, hello unity uh, 3d so it doesn't look it won't look any different from what we've done before but the difference is I've made a variable my string okay that's a type string and in here instead of having the string show I'm going to put the variable in here 
and the variable is going to be um, let me do that come on right here the variable is going to be my string okay and now let's go ahead and save it close it and let's go ahead and run it and there it is hello unity 3d but now I'm going to go to main camera I'm going to scroll down here and you see my string down here my string is a global public variable I'm going to do that and now I'm going to type something hi everyone okay how are you now that's pretty cool because I can now interact with my GUI rather than with the with the other uh, panel that I had let's do one more thing with this uh, which uh, will show us something about what's happening with the uh, with the uh, function on GUI what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another variable and it doesn't have to be public it's going to be an int and I'll just call it X and I'll give X a value of equal to one come down here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, 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 catcanate, cat catcanate, it's hard for me to pronounce that, the value of x, and I'm going to make it x plus plus, just to show you what's happening here. So keep in mind this is going to be incremented uh, the next time it's used by 1. It starts out with 1. Now what we'll see is that the value of this will keep increasing every time the on GUI is refreshed. All right, you're ready for this? I'm going to save it, I'm going to close it, I'm going to run it, and there it is okay you might say holy macro look at that so what i see is that x plus plus is changing every time and i can still come in here and change this i can do it like that and i can put uh, this is my uh, value like that and there it goes and it'll just keep on going and going until the maximum size uh, of an integer Okay, so what we did on this video is that we, we did a, um, a new function. That's a reserve function in Unity called on GUI. Uh, we made a GUI label. We then went ahead and made a GUI skin and set it up with these key terms here, right here. And then we used the string. Uh, this is very important to know how to set this up because we're going to use this in future videos. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.